Hello and welcome to the first episode of the Game Street podcast. My name is Andres Place. I'm going to be the host of this show. I am an editor at Game Street. I write game reviews. I write uh, news about the gaming industry. And I have a very special guest today, Calypta Gaming. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you today? I'm very good. I'm, I'm very happy that you, uh, that you joined us today uh, for our very first, first episode. It's very exciting to start this journey, actually, with you here. I am very excited to be here. I also, I've never done a podcast before, so... Never. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is an exciting moment for me as well. Yeah, well, I wanted to, to start by saying how the show is going to work, right? So uh, I, I have reviewed more than 35 games, I think, throughout uh, the last year. Now it started on January last year, right? So I had been thinking that sometimes, you know, words aren't enough. Sometimes you have to talk about it and talk about it with, talk about it with someone. Um, and I thought about this long format, longer format, um, and and then I saw you and what you've done, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> your gaming surveys, uh, stuff that we'll talk about uh, a little bit later on. So I thought that it would be a great uh, fit for you to join me on, on this first episode. Okay, well, thank you for thinking of me. Uh, I, I never thought that uh, my gaming surveys would lead to something <laughs> <laughs> other than uh, just uh, some fun on Twitter, but... Uh... I'm glad that it inspired you to do this. I've also actually always thought about doing a podcast, but um, with so many different things I have ongoing, it just always seems like <laughs> a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what? Same here. Uh, I've been trying to do podcasts uh, in Spanish. You know, I'm from Mexico uh, with some friends, and always something comes up, and 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 we never do it, right? So I just said, well, you know, if 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 you agree to do it, then you know, let's just hop on it. Uh, uh, well, let's start. So I just reviewed this past month this game that came out, right? Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, um, and that's the one you chose. Um. Yes, <laughs> because I've actually, I, I, it looks like something I would love to play. Uh, it's just once again I have too many games I'm trying to juggle, so uh, <laughs> it's currently on the wish list. We'll see when I ever, uh, if I ever get to it, but. It, it's, it looked really interesting, and from what you wrote, uh, it looked like even uh, more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, it was spoilers. I gave it a, a nine, right? So uh, I liked it. <laughs> I liked it too. It was it was really it's it's really amazing. You know, one of these things because it's they are it's an action RPG, right? So it's 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 active combat. It's a lot of action. And we've seen this before, right? With Final Fantasy XVI, with Tales of Arise, and 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 it's and it's great that another game like that comes along and it changes the formula just a tiny bit enough that it feels different, right? Uh, we can talk about how there's like what fifteen different characters and they all have their own skill set, right? So that is pretty cool, like. You could spend hours just mastering each combo and all of that stuff. So I, I, I don't know. I really liked, uh, I really liked the game in that, in that sense. Also the music. Uh, how important is the music to you, right? Like, <laughs> well, I think for a lot of games, music is probably one of the first things I notice because yeah. already with the loading screen, right? You start up a game, and every game has, has its own uh, sound, its own. A feeling just from those first few seconds when you see the the loading screen, you see you you hear those few sounds of music. Uh, but yeah, it's true. Like I just wanted to say that because the the I was thinking about Oblivion. I think you mentioned Oblivion right a few a few yeah. uh, days ago, weeks ago, and and I was. I mention it all <laughs> the time. Right? I, I love it too. I mean, uh, we can go on a little tangent here. Oblivion. Um, back in 2009, I think, or 10, uh, yeah, I was in high school, I was, um, I had a PS3 and I played Oblivion for the first time. Obviously back then, I didn't really think about how clunky it was, you know, just the music <laughs> and the open world, uh, obviously you, you, you now remember it with, 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 uh, nostalgia goggles right because i because yeah. i play it now and i'm like this was was this what i love like this game looks so clunky <laughs> hey to me 
to me, it's still, uh, I still remember it having the best graphics ever. So yeah. <laughs> I probably, it's probably not a good idea for me to revisit it. <laughs> it will crush all of my nostalgic memories to that. Yeah, stuff. I've been, I've been doing that a lot lately, actually. Uh, Cause you know, now on PlayStation and on Switch, there's a lot of emulators and, and, and classic games that you can play. So I tried playing a few of those and uh I didn't like them anymore. I thought that like, is, is this what I spent my days doing as a, as a kid, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we had fun. And I think it, it, in a way, I, so I replay a lot of like older RPG games, uh, like, you know, Dragon Age. Oh, that's uh, it's yeah. another game I talk about all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's also like it, it has maybe better graphics than Oblivion, but it's still quite dated mm -hmm. and... But it always looks beautiful to me. I don't know what it is. It's almost, I think it's that, you know, the pixelated <laughs> characters and, uh, uh, you know, these dark environments where you can't really see everything. You just kind of imagine it's there. And uh, it, it adds a certain touch to it. For You know, I, I always talk about Baldur's Gate in, you know, Baldur's Gate 3 was yes. brilliant and everybody loved it, it and everybody still loves it. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a masterpiece, a modern masterpiece in uh, role-playing games. But it's it's a lot of it, for me, uh, it's funny because a lot of it, um, it's so engaging because visually it's engaging. Because it's very modern, you have characters, these facial expressions, you know, you relate to them. Whereas before, you know, you, it was mostly your imagination that drove the game. Yes. And I think that's what I miss sometimes in modern games. I love Baldur's Gate. It's a huge game for me, but I will always choose Dragon Age Origins because uh, the characters there, even though they were created by the developers, mm -hmm. I gave them so much of my own character because I had to imagine it because they didn't, <laughs> you know, they didn't have all of these features they have these days. I don't know. It, again, it's a. It's not. It wasn't the point. So. <laughs> no, no. It's, it's of the podcast, yeah. but no, no, we are it's, going it's off on it's, tangents. It's perfect because I, I was did, I was thinking about that too, uh, in a different way. But, but how, you know, um, when I was younger, all of these games like Tales of Symphonia or um, these old old school RPGs, I guess now you could say, um, that also uh, gave me this idea of, of what things could be right because i've always loved fantasy you know but you could only see it in movies and 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 cut scenes um weren't as 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 bombastic as they are now right so it's it's uh, to see it in, in grand blue fantasy reeling like the first sequences that you see uh you know it's you're you're on a on a on a flying ship right and 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 it's just a sky islands all over and there's like a huge dragon and stuff like that so it's i mean obviously like you know the the kid inside you just calls to it like it makes you happy to see because of course yeah it, when you imagine that it, it was it was amazing you know but but at the same time you didn't really have another choice <laughs> so kind of to see it now and the graphics are really pretty too uh it it, it looks like like a uh even anime nowadays looks amazing, right? It looks like a really, a really pretty um, anime. Uh, so, so yeah, I was, I was really, I was really excited to play it. And also, the uh, what I was gonna say about the music, it's it's from from uh, Nobu Uematsu, which is the the composer of Final Fantasy. I mean, not all of them, but you know, Seven, which is you know a, an absolute classic. That soundtrack, right? And 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 it's it's it goes back to how. It's so important to to the to uh, to a game, right? Like sometimes you can be like working and you can put some, you know, all of these on YouTube. You can see all of these compilations of like hours of your class of your favorite video game music, and it just transports you right back, right? Like you just listen to it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I think uh, for me, I I used to have a playlist of different uh, soundtracks from uh, uh, yeah. World of Warcraft because uh, I used to play that game a lot. And uh, a lot of the boss, you know, boss music or just zone music because all zones had different music. Uh, and I remember, like, sometimes you listen to it and you just have this flood of memories, you know, about the places you've been, yeah. the things you've done. Right. And often it's linked to people you are with as well. Because, you know, in WoW, I used to play with a lot mm, of friends yeah. and, uh, you know, friends I don't see anymore. So it, it's kind of an interesting 
experience because you have this nostalgia and these memories and it's all just yeah yeah sorry i was just i just kept thinking about what you said like you, you did you catch me you caught me by surprise uh like how it's true uh, some games are just intrinsically tied to a time of your life right a time in your life that uh maybe it, it was a fun time it was a difficult time exactly. but but games can do that right like it's it's it you know, going back to why it's, you know, the first show and, and, and the first uh, episode of the podcast, uh, going back to what what draws us in to, to gaming like this, right? Yes, definitely. And I think uh, for me especially, I, I, I my life has changed a lot and I've done a lot of different things in my life. I've moved around a lot. I've changed jobs a lot. and uh, But gaming, it was something constant. It's something that has never changed. The games I play have changed. Uh, you know, I'm opening myself up to the new <laughs> uh, new genres maybe not hell divers yet but <laughs> uh, I just I can't keep up with all the yeah. new games that come out but um, it it's always been there uh, no if I am sad I have a game I can play if I'm tired I have a game I can play um, you know when I'm really happy I play different kind of games but it's no matter mm -hmm. what no matter my mood no matter where I am in the world there is something out there and it's also the it, it's a feeling of comfort as well because you know that no matter what you can log in well uh, unless there is an internet cut i guess <laughs> but or, or a power cut <laughs> yeah but you can log into a, a game world where you feel at home like it's always there for you so it's it's kind of beautiful and magical in a way and you know i think that's why a lot of us are here <laughs> Yeah, you're 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 very right. Um, you reminded me of um, of uh, Elder Scrolls Online, for example, right? I mean, you know, we've uh, we've talked about Oblivion, and and obviously after that, Skyrim. Uh, a girlfriend that I had back then uh, gifted it to me, actually. So you know, there's another memory ingrained <laughs> there for me. But um, but yeah, so I play now. I play, I've been playing on and off Elder Scroll, Scrolls Online, and I and I play it because when I play it, it's it's just to have that that feeling of nostalgia, right? Like it's it's not because uh, I find the game great or anything, but it just it reminds me of, of of another time of my life. So it's it's really it's comforting in that way, right? As it was some, like I've, and you can see it in the games that I play, uh, like yep. on, on my on my uh, Twitter timeline and all of that. You can see like when I'm feeling really adventurous, as you've said, or 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 like good about the future or whatever like i try new games i i try new experiences and when uh when i'm not when i'm feeling like sad or you know nostalgic or you know something like that i go and play uh i don't know kingdom hearts or <laughs> elder scrolls or something like that it's it's or dragon age even i love dragon age <laughs> so it's a good sign you're in a good uh, you're in a good uh, period of your life because you've been trying a lot of uh, new games <laughs> yes <laughs> So now, now I know your secrets. So whenever I see you playing <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, I will have to send you positive messages. <laughs> uh, it's gonna, everything's gonna be okay, and I'm gonna be just like uh, <laughs> playing with Donald and Goofy. Yeah, no, I mean it's 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 also tied to a, to uh, to uh, to like a holiday as well, because uh, I just I literally replayed um, Kingdom Hearts one in 2022 and Kingdom Hearts two in 2023. So I guess I'm gonna keep it uh, hopefully this year. <laughs> Not because I'm sad, but like the the music. Going back to to it, to how important it is, right? The the music that uh, that they created for that game, like I just feel it, and I just feel oh my god, goosebumps, you know. So, it's <laughs> it's it's yeah, like it's that that's what a good work of art can do, right? For you, definitely, yeah. Because I think they are. I think sometimes I was gonna say exactly that that I think some games are really a work of art. The emotions we have from playing games are very similar to you know listening to music or seeing a piece of art or you know going to a show. Yeah. So it's uh, I think they can definitely compare it to that. Yeah. Uh, do you think we should start talking about your your uh, great scientific gaming survey 2024? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yes, we can. Uh, uh, we can discuss it. <laughs> we can discuss it a bit. Great scientific gaming survey of 2024. Um, so I, we really don't have that much uh, time as mutuals on Twitter, right? But but 
uh, I think that uh, like ever since the beginning or or like every conversation, like every tweet that you've posted, like it's been uh, it's it's been interesting. Right. Because you said that you have a, a biology background. Right. Uh, is that because you wanted to do the, the survey or how, what was the thought process behind it? Uh, well, so for me, it's um, it's funny because uh, I've kind of been a scientist my whole life. Yeah. Even when I was younger, I was really into sciences. And, um, you know, I, I actually, I, I did a film school before I, I, I became a biologist. Oh, wow. So <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I did awesome. a lot of uh, cinematography and directing. And I wanted to do wildlife documentaries, um, but uh, which is why I went to do, a, you know, a degree in biology. Uh, mm -hmm. But over time... You know, I, I realized that administration and all the, you know, bureaucracy <laughs> that come with academia were not really for me. And uh, so after moving to France, uh, I changed uh, my career to be a developer. Uh, and But I kind of never stopped being a scientist. And I often miss it. Like, I miss doing the research. I miss I miss data. I love data. You know, I, 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 if I could yes. put everything into data, I would. <laughs> <laughs> because to me it's easier to understand than people most of the time yeah yeah when, when you can like crunch all the data into something that's clearer than yeah. than human behavior i guess that really <laughs> that's really easier to understand definitely yes and so uh for me i always enjoy you know looking at things i i'm a more, very emotional person at the same time so you know i as you can also see by my post but <laughs> uh so i like combining kind of all my hobbies into one. And to me, you know, we often talk about gaming, you know, as a fun activity. It's uh, our hobby. It's just there to, you know, and, and not be as stressed at the end of the day or, you know, have an adventure <laughs> or, you know, have, have, have romances with uh, strange <laughs> <laughs> characters. Creatures, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, um, but also for me, it's interesting. It's interesting... Uh, to see, you know, the, the, the gaming population, like here, yeah, I, I really talk as a, <laughs> as a scientist, because, because when, uh, when I worked on uh, animal populations, actually, so I was mm -hmm. looking at how, you know, they evolve over time, their, their habitat preferences, things like this. So I kind of view, you know, the <laughs> Twitter gaming community as, uh -huh. as a population of uh, cute mammals who play video games. <laughs> and, That's brilliant. <laughs> This is this yeah. will be the quote, the quote to remember. <laughs> but that's perfect. Uh, but uh, and it was interesting for me to see, you know, kind of to put all of these different people mm -hmm. into perspective. You know, for example, you know, one of the questions I asked was the platform of choice because you see people fighting about the gaming platforms all the time. Of course, but, yes. Uh, yeah. Which is absolutely silly, but also I am a PC gamer. I only play on a PC. I've never, I've never owned a console. Ooh, mm -hmm. I know, <laughs> what horror! Uh, but uh, I, it's just because I've always worked with a PC, and it's kind of where I gamed. It was easy, and I am horrible with a controller. And like the only thing I can do is mouse and keyboard. So. <laughs> oh really? Oh wow! That that j just with that fact that that really changes my whole perspective, right? Because it's 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 about what you what you just said. Uh, I've, I, I mean, I, I think maybe when I was like younger, I played Tibia. You remember that RPG, MMORPG? Yeah, just this r really pixelated uh, fantasy <laughs> game. Uh, but yeah, that, I think that's the only time I played with with a um, with a mouse and keyboard. You know, just clicking, uh, asking the the character where to go, like clicking like a madman, right? But <laughs> but but I'll, <laughs> but I've always used a, a controller actually. So for you to say that, uh, it's that like you're not good with a controller that that just blows my mind right because we've really played uh, many similar games and and we have different uh, memories of it uh, like yeah. starting from the input uh, <laughs> of it it's it's actually it's very true and i because even uh, there are some people you know that play on a pc but they play with a controller Mm -hmm. which I didn't even realize until I joined Twitter <laughs> because I was like, well, if you play on a PC, you play with a mouse and keyboard, right? But right. no, apparently people play with a controller <laughs> on a PC, which for me is like sacrilege, but no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. I did but, that uh, <laughs> uh, But yeah, so it's, it's interesting because, and that kind of, you know, leads me to this 
so, uh, conclusion at the end that we are all so mm -hmm. different. You yeah. know, we, we play differently. We, we Like even mechanically, we play very differently because with a controller versus mouse and keyboard, it's not the same experience. It's not the same skill set. Of and, course. But at the same time, like we are still the same. We are the same because we <laughs> still enjoy the games. We enjoy, uh, we have the same, you know, enjoy pleasure from it. We we have yeah. the same memories. So it's um, well different memories, but the same value, I guess, of those memories. So um, it's it's very interesting, and which is why kind of I wanted to do this survey because for me um, it was a way to enjoy the data. <laughs> <laughs> and try to you know make some pretty graphs and be be my scientist self, but also uh, to kind of get to know the community better because I only recently joined Twitter and uh, it wasn't I kind of shy away from social media most of the time, and I didn't think I would enjoy it so much. <laughs> and of course, I think yeah. <laughs> and and but actually you know I think you you were a big part of it as well for me because I know we've had oh, a lot of. <laughs> A lot of uh, really nice conversations, and you know, in the sea of all these negative opinions and people just bickering about stuff, you were there with <laughs> just you know yeah. pure joy of gaming, <laughs> and uh, you know, Thank you. it's it's true. And uh, for me, I, it's what made me coming back, kind of knowing that there are people there who I can connect with, who I can actually just have a conversation with. True. And it, it's. Um, so it's been quite a joy, and I, I realize that I would like to stay, you know, <laughs> in this community. And <laughs> that's 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 excellent to hear. Thank you for saying that. Yeah. And uh, and kind of try to understand it a bit more, uh, which is why you know I did this survey. Of course, I it was still early. You know, I have <laughs> my ten followers who answered the questions, but. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but it but but it's but it's a start, you know. Uh, um, uh, you said some some really amazing uh, things there. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I wanted to say two things about that. So first, I wanted to say uh, I am very grateful of the community that I've uh, fostered right uh, on 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 Twitter, really, because yes, I mean it's it's really a a toxic environment most of the time. Uh, so I'm glad that um, you know life. Um, uh, made you find your way there as well because uh, it's yeah you gotta protect your peace always um, I I uh, for a time uh, especially last year you know I, I had some uh, mean comments because I, I was praising this game called Forspoken so uh, that's when I started a friend told me uh, to start uh, blocking to start using uh, exercise my 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 block <laughs> my block button right for the first time uh which is something that i do not enjoy doing you know they say this thing about the echo chamber and all of that but i mean as long as it's a a, a sensible a civil conversation then i'm definitely uh all ears mm -hmm. right so so yeah i'm i'm, I'm really uh, i'm glad that you found your way there too and uh, the second part is uh so about gaming of course i know that i'm not like the usual gamer i really do play a lot of genres. Uh, I do. It's not that I do have uh, too much time. I, I I do work, of course, uh, and and I do hang out with friends and family and stuff. So having to juggle all of those things it's difficult. And 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 I do make gaming a priority. Of course, I don't have like kids, right? Like like many of my of my friends on Twitter. So obviously that gives me a little yeah. leeway to play more, of course. But uh, but yeah, I mean I know that out of all the games that I reviewed, I mean, I reviewed 35 games and I played even, and, I, and I've played even more mm -hmm. last year, but I know that people didn't even finish 20 and, and, and that's fine too, you know, of course, everybody's time is very valuable. So I, I try to channel that um, with my with my reviews, right? Because you need, um, uh, you need to write, to say the things that, well, okay, so, um, he said that you know the co the online co-op is strong, or the music, or the story, right, or the action, and 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 that's what will resonate mm -hmm. with some people. Sometimes I don't like uh, uh, if you've written and uh, read any of my reviews, you know that uh, maybe even if I don't like a game, even if I give give it like a six or something. Uh, you can see that like I try to to <laughs> to scavenge like uh, how can I say that like 
maybe it was me, yeah. right? Maybe the game just wasn't for me. Maybe someone else will find enjoyment in this. Like I don't, I don't want to. I don't like being one shot killed and 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 sent back to the beginning. But maybe some other people do like that challenge, right? So, so it's it's all opinions in the end. Of uh, course. So having 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 to find that 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 middle ground, right, uh, between. Uh, my experience and and having to connect with other people uh, is, is 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 a joy. Yeah, it's it's really amazing to to find a community like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So actually, speaking, you know, speaking of games played, actually, I can chime in with the results of the scientific survey because, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I, I will just make this disclaimer. You know, it's not a very serious survey because you know the sample size was small and. Of course, it's biased because, you know, mm -hmm. I connect with people on, on Twitter who are similar to me. Uh, maybe not, um, you know, maybe not in the genres we play because, you know, there are a lot of people who play different genres from me. But uh, it's just maybe in, our, in the way we approach gaming. Because if, so in a way, it, it's probably slightly biased. Um, but uh, mm -hmm. so we did, you know, I did find that actually people uh, do play, you know, about, you know, 20, uh, 20, 30 games per year, which for me is a, which for me yeah, is, is a lot, lot really. yeah. uh, because uh, <laughs> I am lucky to play my five, you know, ongoing games and I get one or two new games <laughs> in a year. And I actually, I do play quite a bit as well because I work from home uh, and, you know, with the yeah. development, I have a lot of time to do other things and uh, I also don't have kids. So <laughs> it's, yeah. it's quite, uh, it's much easier, <laughs> I think, to find time. Uh, but I still don't, you know, I spend it mostly on the same game. Like I play, you know, Genshin and Honkai, so they take all of my time. Yeah, yeah, those are endless so, games. Or like so, uh, yeah. MMOs, which I love to play and, uh, you know, they, they kind of just take all of your time. Uh, which is also why I've been True. enjoying Twitter a lot because um, and actually like again it's I feel like you you've influenced me so much actually because seeing you play all these new <laughs> games it's it's been really inspiring because it once again it, you you have this joy when you talk about gaming and when you and it's uh, I find it's very similar to mine because I actually just had a conversation the other day with yeah. someone. And I said, I never see negatives when I play video games. Well, I can see some negatives about the game, maybe. But of it's not, um, I, I never have a negative experience. And so I'm always very happy when I talk about games, which for me, it was such a shocker when I joined Twitter and I found people like, like you said, for Spoken, for example, I've been <laughs> looking forward to playing this game. Uh, I still, once again, I have never time, but I'm looking forward to playing it when I get around to it. <laughs> And seeing people being so negative about it was very strange, you know? And, uh, yeah. and so one, <laughs> once again, you know, meeting others who, who have the same outlook on, on games. And I think it's probably outlook on life because I'm mm -hmm. usually pretty positive in life as well. Um, I don't know about you. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I try to be. That's, that's, that's an interesting thing to say because I do find some people that say like, oh, like you're relentlessly positive. And, and while that is the case on, on Twitter, at least, I think I do it to outweigh all the negative uh, perspectives out there. Uh, but in real life, no. I mean, of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm a little... Um, I'm a little bit more balanced. I mean, I'm not always like super positive uh, in, in my everyday life. Like if we go to a lunch, like, hey, what's going on? Like everything's fun. Of course not, right? Uh, <laughs> it's impossible, I think, to be positive all the time. But but of course I do, I do. I did say the other, the other day, like I look at the glass half full, let's say, right? Um, so... So it's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a way of, it's a way of life, I guess. But, but also it's, it's finding other people that obviously know exactly how I am and them being not not as much like that but still being able to uh, give me the, you know the benefit of the doubt and read my reviews um, because you know we're all biased in a way of and course. and yeah you could say that that, that I am biased towards like something uh, more positive uh, of course like I mean I'm not like IG and I've never given a 
a, a game review uh, uh, like a four, right? Or a three. But at the same time, I mean, I've, I've never reviewed Gollum, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm trying to say, yeah, sorry to the devs. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is um, that it's, it's uh, I have to be fair, right? Yeah. I mean, I I even if I'm positive, being fair is more important to me because there's too many... Uh, yeah, going back to what I said, like all of our time is precious, right? And 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 if when somebody says to me, and and, and they've said that quite a lot recently, and and I just feel like this responsibility weighing on my shoulders, <laughs> like oh, I bought this game because of you, right? So I'm like, <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. So like you spend, you know, whatever amount of money because of what I said or what I did. So now I'm like, I, I really do hope you like it, man. Because because, <laughs> because I don't because do the... sure fans. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's a little, uh, it's a little nerve wracking, but it's but it's also fun, right? Because I mean, you have to, uh, you have to stand by what you say, right? Of so it's it's, <laughs> but yeah. But, it's... but I do I do think that gaming is um, it's very personal, and you know we we each approach games uh, on a, in our individual way. Some games, you know, that's why I find, you know, sometimes we'll recommend a game we really like. You know, the game we think yeah. is the best in the world. But uh, I'm always very <laughs> oblivion. <laughs> I'm always very conscious that it might not be the truth for someone else. We all have our own truths, and uh, you know, if mm -hmm. I, you know, for me, I love RPG games. You know, I love the tactical uh, combat. I love you know getting lost in the lore of the world. Uh, you know, spending hours theory crafting. You know, the numbers I need for for different builds. I love doing that. But I recognize some people. You know, they just want to pew pew and run around. <laughs> which is totally fine also and it's fun and i you know i have played games like this before and you know i uh, it's the same as mmos uh, when i was younger and i played mm -hmm. with a lot of real life friends you know in a guild you 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 have you know you're when you're down a boss with 25 people it's not the same feeling as when you do it on your own because you, you yeah. cooperated you had you know every single person worked perfectly in this mechanism to to overcome this challenge and for me it's beautiful like it's this is what, you know, it's real cooperation and it's uh, it's something you can't experience in real life even because unless you are, sure. I don't know, maybe in the military, I don't know. But <laughs> if you're working in an office, you know, the most cooperation is like sharing your coffee with someone. So um, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so for me, it's uh, I love all of these different aspects of different games, but I recognize that it's not for everyone. You know, So if somebody yeah. doesn't like a game I like, it's also not a big deal. <laughs> I'm still going to say it's my favorite game in the world, but I'm not going to be upset Agreed, because, yeah. you know, for them, it's like not interesting at all. Actually, uh, speaking of our, my, my great, uh, uh, great gaming survey, mm -hmm. uh, speaking of genres, I was actually quite surprised to find, uh, we found that it was over 70% of people who liked uh, role-playing games, you know, uh, which I, at the same time, Speaking of genres, it's complicated because you can have action RPG, you can have strategy RPG, you can have you know turn-based RPG. So it's it's a genre I think that just encompasses so many games that it's that is true. also pretty logical that most people <laughs> would like it. But it was interesting for me because uh, once again, it's probably biased because of people I connect with on Twitter. But uh, yeah. it was interesting for me to find that so many people you know enjoy enjoy these kinds of games um i would i was expecting to see more you know strategy and simulation out there but uh, it was almost non-existent so really yeah i mean of course like the sims uh, i uh, for example right you, you talk mm -hmm. about you talk about like simulation right uh i i that was one of the first games uh that i saw a friend of mine when i was really young uh, playing on the computer uh and i did like it um but you know, it's it's going back to RPGs. Uh, you got The Witcher Three. You you have Baldur's Gate Three, right? Where where uh, you can make many choices, right? Uh, you can you know save someone or or kill like a whole village or whatever you want to do. It's like it's 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 really like it can be it can be whatever you want it to be. So I guess that yeah. that's that's what that's what really uh, appeals to a lot of people, right? It it it, it encompasses a lot of uh, different uh, gaming experiences. I think. Yeah, and I think uh, I think for me, well, simulation. I guess you can also be whoever you want, but it's usually more based on life. 
you know, yeah. most of the sim games, they are, uh, you know, either real life simulators or building simulators or anything like this. So it's not really, uh, you have freedom, but that freedom is still constrained, you know, in the real world. Whereas it's true that, you know, fantasy and sci-fi, which again, were very popular genres uh, from the surveys, uh, they transport you, they transport you into the world that you don't, you're not used to. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, you have this ability to be anyone you want that's not the regular you. you know, for <laughs> me, uh, I am terrified of so many things in real life, like, you know, um, the giant... Uh, flaming bulls or whatever it is we were fighting the other day oh yes i mean yeah, if i on, on if, I, the, the if bull, I saw yeah. that in real life you know i i would be running the other way but in the game all of a sudden you're like i am a brave adventurer you know i can totally take yes take on this oh, oh my god you, you, yeah you just hit the nail in the head sorry yeah it, with that that is that is you just uh brought back something that i had been thinking about um because recently, uh, uh, for you know those that don't follow me, I started uh, my my souls-like journey with Bloodborne after years and years of trying. Um, and and something that you said uh, a moment ago about how um, how I find joy in everything and and it's in in, in in games especially, and it's true because I had to change my my perspective when I first started it. Like I I, I played it because they, they gifted Bloodborne, I think, with with the, with the PS PS subscription, PlayStation subscription. So uh, I tried it uh, over the years, um, and then the, the Demon Souls remake. Um, so, but it it never really clicked, right? And I and I was about to get angry. Like I didn't get angry. I was like. I was just thinking that this this game is so unfair, <laughs> and I would just laugh it off and just delete it, right? And 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 now with this you know uh, refreshed perspective, let's say, you just you said something that 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 that, that I really connect with, which is um, becoming this. Uh, when I first beat that that boss on 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 Bloodborne, that's when like my 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 mindset just just changed, right? Like I can do this. I am this hunter. <laughs> Right, uh, who will like save this this forgotten gothic uh, town, uh, whatever, and 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 I will be the one who uh, who does that, right? So, so of course it's 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 role playing, it's a game, but but having having that uh, idea in your mind that like yeah you can do anything, it's 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 not easy to get there, right? Uh, some some games uh, really ask too much of you. I mean. Uh, Baldur's Gate Three, for example, there's a fight with, with a with a giant spider, with a, which I dreaded. <laughs> I dread spiders, right? Uh, and, and I avoided it up until before I had to leave uh, Act One. I was like, well, you know, it's it's something you have to do. Uh, you're you're you know uh, the savior of, of of Baldur's Gate, so I mean, you, you can can't face be scared a of a spider. Giant spider. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, it's. It's it's I, I guess going back to your findings, uh, it's what it's probably what what most people think, right? Uh, try to be uh, someone that they want to be. Like maybe you want to face your boss, right? Right in, in real life, or you want to go get the girl, or you know whatever. Uh, and you can do it in the <laughs> game, right? So maybe that can give you the courage to do it in real life too. You know? Maybe. Yeah. Well, I think I think games can be huge confidence boosters. It's what you said, you know, when you defeat, yeah. uh, um, you know, when you defeat a boss or you, you achieve something, uh, um, it, uh, it really elevates your, your self-confidence because all of a sudden, like maybe it's, a, you know, for most people who are not gamers, they probably think it's silly. But, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of mm, the same when you accomplish something, if you're you know, into sports, for example, you know, and you're doing some training and you accomplish you know you run a marathon or something like this so it's similar because you have a challenge you have a goal and you sometimes you train you know towards it like you have a hundred boss attempts like you know my one of my my other recent surveys <laughs> yes <laughs> about the hardest bosses you know and, and to to discover that people you know some people spend days days to defeat a boss which is so much dedication I feel I, I've never been so dedicated to anything in my life, you know? Most of the time, if, if something doesn't work, I'm just like, well, whatever, you know, let's, let's just move on here. <laughs> but, but in a video game, 
suddenly you're like, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, hold on here. You know, this boss, I've been here for a week. I'm going to spend another week and I'm not going home until it's done. Like it's, <laughs> it's incredible. But once again, in, you know, part of me, so going back to the reason why I did my survey, it was really just for fun. Mm-hmm. But part of me, of course. Uh, you know, I've, I've always wanted to, you know, to, to, to have games as more than just my hobby in my life because I spent so much time doing it. But it's always been complicated because I'm also a scientist and I can be very practical sometimes. And so it seemed, you know, mm-hmm. not, a, not really possible to, to combine the two. Uh, but, you know, lately I've been doing a lot of self reflection and growth and what have what not <laughs> that's great and you know i i realize that you know there is there's this opportunity you know to combine uh, you know the way i view the world as a scientist with my passion for gaming to you know maybe create something that would you know appeal to to some people of course it's not as appealing as you know a random streaming on twitch but <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time I still I do think that it, there are some interesting uh, uh, subjects we can explore, you know, either through podcasts or through conversations, uh, where we we dive deeper into you know gaming other than just oh hey you know look at this uh, you know shiny characters on the screen. It was just which is why I've been very very happy to to be here to talk with you today because uh, you know I've been kind of wishing to have more conversations. In, instead of just short responses yeah. here and there, and uh, it's 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 been really great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I think your findings have been very insightful, and and I'm really glad that that we we got to have this conversation because really it's 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 not over. You know, uh, th- there's obviously uh, uh, a bigger sample uh, of people that you know could be surveyed and also uh, new mm-hmm. questions, you know, uh, in, in the realm of gaming that can be explored oh, sure. and, and, and discussed as well. So uh, I guess if that's fine, we, we can uh, wrap it up uh, here. We can have you again down the line. And, and yeah, uh, you know, for anybody who's listening, you can follow Calypta Gaming. Is that the same handle on, on Twitter, X and, yep. and YouTube? It's yeah? the same. Okay. Yeah, they can catch you uh, streaming or doing surveys. <laughs> exactly. Or, 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 or rambling. And, and asking fun questions. Or rambling about life, the <laughs> universe and everything. So. Thank you so much Thank for you being for here. Thank you for having me. Uh, I'm Andres Place. <laughs> Um, I'm Andres Place. Uh, thank you for listening from the bottom of my heart uh, to this podcast. And hopefully there will be more to come. So thank you. And thank you. Do I clap? <laughs> you can. You can. <laughs>